Hi everyone, welcome to Madis Note YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about calcium. Calcium is the most abundant mineral, which is it contains 1 kg of calcium in our body. 99% is present in bone along with the phosphate as hydroxyapatite crystals. 99% of this is, uh, is present in the body along with the phosphate as hydroxyapatite crystals. Now the dietary source are milk and milk product, cheese, cereals, legumes, nuts and vegetables. These are the diet, dietary source of the calcium. Now the RDA. The adults is 800 mg per day. Pregnancy and lactation 1000 mg per day is required. In infant 300 to 500 mg per day. The absorption of the calcium is by the factors which intestine and the factors which increases the absorption are vitamin D, parathyroid hormone, acidic in nature, lactose and high protein diet. These are the factors which increases the absorption of the calcium. Mainly it is absorbed by the intestine. Now the factors which decreases the absorption of the calcium are phylates and oxalates, high fat, fat diet, high phosphate diet and high fiber diet as well as calcitonin hormone also decreases the absorption of the calcium. Now you will see about the excretion. Mostly it is excreted by now calcium is excreted in feces, partly by urine, little in sweat. The forms of the calcium are it is swam 50 percentage is formed in ionized form. The calcium in plasma level 4.5 to 5.6 milligram is ionized form. And the calcium complex with citrate, phosphate and bicarbonate is 10 percentage. And non-ionized form is 40 percentage. Now in acidosis there is more H plus concentration. So there is more positive change in albumin. Positive charge in albumin decreases the calcium binding level. So there is increased ionized calcium. In alkylosis H plus Concentration decreases, decreases less, less positive change in albumin. So there is increased calcium binding and decreased ionized calcium level. Now you will see the functions of the calcium. Formation of bone and teeth. This 99% of the calcium is used as hydroxyapatite crystals which increases the hardness and rigidity. In blood coagulation, calcium factor 4 this is platelets. Act inactivate prothrombin to activate prothrombin. This calcium activates the prothrombin, so it is used in blood coagulation process. In muscle contraction, it is used in troponin for muscle contraction. Release of hormone, parathyroid gland and thyroid gland. Parathyroid gland calcium, which is PTH. Parathyroid hormone is released with the help of the calcium. In thyroid gland, calcitonin is released with the help of the calcium and it releases the neurotransmitter regulation of enzyme activity which is adenyl cyclase, gonyl cyclase, NO synthase and PI3 kinase these are the enzyme which increases the calcium activity it is used as second messenger and membrane excitability calcium activates Na plus channels in cardiac activity calcium decreases the cardiac muscle contractivity the membrane integrity and permeability maintains the integrity and permeability of the membrane. Regulation of plasma calcium or calcium homeostasis. The plasma calcium is 9 to 11 milligram percentage. Vitamin D, PTH and calcitonin regulate the plasma calcium level. The functions of the vitamin D are acts on three organ. The vitamin D in intestine, bone as well as kidney. In intestine, it increases the calcium binding and increases the absorption. In bone, it is used in demineralization. In kidney, it decreases the reabsorption of the calcium and decreases the excretion of the calcium. The main function of the vitamin D is to increase the calcium level. So, in kidney, it increases the reabsorption. So, in the re in the name of reabsorption the calcium level is increased and in excretion it decreases the excretion so there are less amount of the calcium is excreted out 
in bone it is demineralization and in intestine it increases the calcium binding and decreases the absorption of plasma calcium function of pth pth is synthesized from the parathyroid gland the parathyroid hormone which activates the 1 alpha hydrolase and in bone it is used in demineralization in kidney increases the reabsorption of calcium and excretion of the ph phosphate and decreases the intestinal absorption of calcium the it activates one alpha hydrolase which is used in activation of vitamin d and increases the intestinal absorption of calcium the bone it is used in demineralization and osteoclastic activity in kidney decrease increases the reabsorption of calcium and increases the excretion of the phosphate level the calcitonin synthesis from the thyroid gland calcitonin decreases the plasma calcium level so in the bone mineralization of the bone occur osteoclastic activity in kidney increase excretion of calcium and phosphate so this the main concept of the calcitonin is to decrease the plasma calcium level so the mineralization occur here but in vitamin d there is demineralization excretion of the calcium and phosphate is increased so that the calcium level will be decreased now the clinical conditions are hypercalcemia and hyperglycemia now hypercalcemia is the plasma concentration plasma level is decreased to 9 to 11 is when the it is decreased more less than 9 it is known as hypercalcemia when it is more than 11 it is known as hypercalcemia the hypercalcemia are It occurs in hyperparathyroidism, magnesium deficiency, vitamin D deficiency, and renal disease. And hypercalcemia occurs in hyperparathyroidism and malignant disease. The symptoms of the people are neuromuscular. The the cause of the calcium deficiency results in neuromuscular irritability, tenderness, tingling, numbness, and muscle cramps. Increased level of the calcium results in depression confusion inability to concentrate muscle weakness anorexia abdominal pain nausea vomiting constipation these are the hypercalcemia and hypercalcemia and the clinical conditions of the calcium if you want more videos like this please do like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any doubt on it please to comment it if you have any topic to suggest please to comment it thank you please to subscribe